Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ultra. This is Feed the Mind TV. So today we are going to talk about the academic ethical traditions. So right now we are going to discuss ano nga ba yung tinatawag na gawi, gawa, and habituation. In Filipino, the words gawi and gawa can give a sense of what philosophers mean by ethical action. Filipinos distinguish between thoughtless, instinctive mannerisms, and reflexive from gawa, which is yung action, and gawi, which is inclination. And reflecting on how Filipinos use these words, one can understand that human actions are different from mere bodily movements. Of course, there is a difference between yung gawa or yung action natin and yung gawi, yung nakasanayan na yung bodily movements natin, and from the action. And later on, we are going to discuss all of those. So freedom figures closely into action and inclination. Freedom here means not only the ability to act free from outside influences or the independence from the impediments of one's wishes. It is the willful act and decision that give form and shape to the actions and inclinations of people. This freedom is oriented towards the wherefore, the what for, and the whom for of the doings of people. So yung tiyatawag na freedom dito, ito yung ability ng isang tao to do something, to do some action without the influence of anybody around him. So if you're trying to do some good things, if you're trying to do a very good action, It should be na dahil gusto mo, hindi dahil na influensyahan ka lang ng ibang tao, hindi dahil napilitan ka lang gawin yung isang bagay. It should be your will to do that kind of action. And you are the only person who will decide kung ano ba yung gagawin mong mabuti. So these are the common aspects of human action that Filipinos understand as action and inclination. That free human acts are governed by a reflection and are freely decided such that they are not determined by internal or external forces. So as long as you're doing a lot of good things without being forced to do so by someone else, that's a very good thing for you to do. Kasi hindi ka napipilitang gawin yung isang bagay. You are not being influenced by internal or external forces at all. You have that free will to do something good to other people. However, gawi and gawa are not identical. Magkaiba talaga sila. Gawa, it refers to the free action that is oriented towards a particular end. So example ng gawa is, A worker uses his or her free imagination and will bring about services and products that contribute to the well-being of society. So as one governed by free decision-making, the creative worker embraces all the information he or she can gather to effectively realize his or her purpose. A process of discernment must learn many details about wood, its feel, its hardness and pliability, as well as its strength. He or she should know about the qualities that will help him or her accomplish the task at hand very well. So part of this knowledge is the knowledge about the body movements or the body's movements in accomplishing this work. The carpenter should study how heavy or light the hand should move over certain kinds of wood, what tools to apply so that the wood yields the best piece, a stool, a table, or the wheel of a cart. So pag sinabing gawa, it refers to the free action. You are doing some action na may purpose ka. Ba't mo ginagawa yung isang bagay? Ba't ka gumagawa ng isang chair? Ba't ka gumagawa ng isang table? For you to be able to use it or for you to be able to sell it to your customer or for everybody to use it sa mga bahay nila. And that is an example of gawa. You are doing something na may purpose ka, may goal ka at the end of the day. So ano naman yung tiyatawag na gawi? The word gawi also refers to a free kind of work. However, instead of focusing on a particular end like a product or fulfillment, gawi refers to the kind of acts that people are used to accomplishing. It refers to a particular acts of a person. A person's kagawian or habitual action reveals truth about himself or herself. So kung yung gawa, you have that objective at the end of the day, yung gawin naman, yun yung action mismo. So do not be confused with these two terms. 
So while the beautiful table and the intricately designed chair are products of a carpenter that has gotten used to being one, in his kagawian, he reveals himself as a good or bad person. A worker who produces for the society is judged skilled or unskilled, but a person is judged good or evil, right or wrong, based on kagawian or habituation. Kagawian is the Filipino equivalent of ethos in Greek and mos or moris in Latin. So tandaan nyo lang, pag sinabing gawa, it refers to the action na ginawa ng isang tao. Well, yung sinasabi namang kagawian or habituation, yun yung magdedetermine what kind of person are you. Yung nakagawian mo na ba is maganda or hindi, then that will serve as the basis ng ibang tao to determine what kind of person are you. Let's say, nakikita sa'yo, gumagawa ka ng maganda, then yun yung kagawian mo na. Kabuuan na siya. Yun yung kagawian. Okay? So again, do not be confused with the three terms. Pag sinabing gawa, it refers to the action. Pag sinabing gawi, it refers to the process of doing the action. Yung proseso ng paggawa mo ng gawa. Paggawa mo ng isang bagay. Yun yung process. Yun yung gawi. While yung kagawian, Lahat ng ginawa mo na paulit-ulit, lahat ng gawi na paulit-ulit na ginawa mo, ang tawag doon, kagawian. Buo na siya, lahat na ng ginawa mo. Okay? So it's clear, okay? So gawa, it refers to the action. Gawi, it refers to the process of doing the action. And yung kagawian, lahat na ng ginawa mo, yun yung overall, tawag doon, kagawian or habituation. Paulit-ulit na ginawa mo. So this is just the first part of the academic ethical traditions which is yung gawi, gawa, and habituation. And all of these things will really help us in terms of how we will be able to maximize yung mga bagay that will determine what kind of person are we based on our action, based on the things that we keep on doing every single day and to make us a better person in the eyes of others. And all of this is beneficial to everyone as long as na apply natin all the things that we learn from this subject. And I know that we can put all of this knowledge into action every single day. All we have to do is keep on practicing, keep on applying it every time na kailangan natin gawin. And I'm pretty sure that we will be successful in terms of being a very good person, not just for today, but every single day. And I hope that you learned something from this video. And again, if this is the first time that you visit my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. And for other motivational videos, educational videos about purposive communication and also the subject general education, ethics, please check out the playlist that I have here in my channel. Again, my name is Altra. This is Feed the Mind TV.